Hi, this is Misty with Digital Learning, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a quizzes that you can use for homework with your students. So to start out, I've gone to quizzes.com slash admin, and I've logged into my quizzes account. This is a free account, and you can use your Google credentials to create an account if you'd like to. I'm going to either create a quiz, create a new quiz, I'm going to search for a quiz if I think there might already be one that exists, or I can use one that I've previously made. For this example, I'm going to use one that I've previously made. So I go to my quizzes, and then I scroll down and find the one I'd like to use. In this case, quizzes practice. I can see the questions there, so I can make sure that the questions are what I want them to be. If I'm happy with the way everything looks, then I'm going to go over here, and instead of doing a live game, I'm going to pick homework game. So I click on homework game, and I'm going to look at all this down here. So requires login. This is if I wanted to save progress to specific accounts, but my students also cannot change the number of times they can attempt the homework. Now, with that said, keeping in mind that the, often the purpose of homework is to review and show mastery, unlimited attempts on this actually give your students a perfect chance to review and master the concepts that are being covered in this quizzes. I'm going to look at the rest of the options here, seeing what my feedback for my students. I want them to have the correct answers, and I do still want them to have that leaderboard experience. I'm going to leave the timer on, and I'm going to leave all of these kind of things that make it fun. And I'm just going to go with random selection on the memes. All right, if I'm happy with all my settings, then I can come up here and set how long I want the game to be available. I want my kids to have until Friday to review this as many times as they want. And on Friday, I'm going to close it down and uh, take a homework grade for it. So I'm happy with the way everything looks, so I'm going to select host game. All right, if I use Google Classroom, I can go ahead and push this out directly. If not, what I'm going to do is give my students this look, link to join.quizzes.com in this code. And to show you what that will look like for your students, They'll go to join.quizzes.com, enter the code, enter their name, and start the game. And again, they can do this directly from their browsers. They do not need to download a third-party app if they're working from their MacBooks or their Chromebooks. If they are on the iPad, they will need the Quizzes app. If you have any questions about how to get quizzes to your students, please feel free to reach out to any member of the digital learning team. As an aside, once your students have started taking the quiz, you will get data here based on the homework that you've assigned. So you have um, a, the way that you can pull data after this homework is done right here, and it will tell you who they were, the number of questions and their accuracy and you can download that. So once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to a member of Digital Learning. We'd be happy to help you get quizzes up and going in your classroom.